The holiday season is here. If you're a fan of bike riding, you know just how special the freedom of a bicycle can be. This year, give that Grom in your life the gift of two wheels instead of the gift of a glowing screen. Get them out in the fresh air so they can explore the world firsthand by bike. If all your budget allows is a $100 bike from a big box store, don't let that stop you from getting your kid rolling. Any bike is better than no bike. Just make sure if you buy the bike assembled from a department store that the bike is safe and put together properly. I can't tell you how many times I've seen a fork installed backwards on a bike from Walmart. If you're not sure how the bike should be assembled, your local bike shop will be glad to make sure you and your child are riding safely. Now let's check out some incredible 20-inch wheeled mountain bikes for the youngest of shredders. A bike with 20-inch wheels is basically the smallest option if you're looking for gears. I was able to get three nice mountain bikes to check out, and as my five-year-old became the tester, I watched him go from pushing a mini BMX bike uphill to learning how to use gears and hand-operated brakes. All of these 20-inch mountain bikes were probably a bit of a stretch for my boy in terms of sizing, but gears were a must. He was tired of pushing his single-speed coaster brake BMX bike up little climbs, and he was ready to roll longer and farther. The big baller of the bunch, and the bike that looks the most like an adult mountain bike shrunk down for a kid, is the Norco Fluid HT 2.3 Plus. At $579, non-mountain bikers may have sticker shock, but this machine is trail-ready with front suspension, 20 by 2.6 inch wide, high-volume tires, and dual-disc brakes. The Suntour XCT Junior Fork gets 60 millimeters of travel. While it's basically just a spring with some preload adjustment, it'll take the bite out of some trail bump and makes the Norco look like mom or dad's MTB. Shimano handles the drivetrain duties with a nice 1x8 setup featuring an Altus rear derailleur and 11 to 34 tooth cassette. It has 152 millimeter cranks with a narrow wide 28 tooth chainring. The low gearing means your kid will be powering to the top of any climb right next to you. The seat post quick release is super handy for on-the-fly saddle height adjustments. The contact points on the Norco are junior specific, which is a must-have in this category of bike, especially for extra young riders. Brake lever position for my five-year-old was the hardest thing to get dialed on any of these bikes, and the Tektro disc brakes on the Norco had the most quality range of adjustment. At first, I rolled my eyes at a bike for someone so young featuring hydraulic disc brakes, but for the practicality of lever reach alone, they were the cream of the crop. The bike isn't light at a little over 25 pounds, with a big heft coming from the fork, but that didn't seem to matter for our mini tester. The 16-inch Miraco BMX bike we found at a thrift store weighed 28 pounds. Out of the bikes he sampled, the Norco was his favorite. Could be the looks of the big tires, the fork, and the brakes, or it could be the performance of those items. Instead of 600 bucks on a phone, a video game system, or a tablet, the Norco Fluid 2.3 Plus is money well invested in any child ready for real mountain biking. Hit up norco.com for more info. At nearly half the price of the Norco is the affordable and diverse GT Stomper Prime for $300. It's a 20-inch wheeled mountain bike that has great geometry and sizing for the youngest of riders. The GT uses what they call legit fit, based off Schwinn's smart start idea for early riding. The GT had the best standover clearance with their drop top tube and triple triangle layout. Additionally, the 110 mm cranks were relatively short and my 39 inch tall three year old was actually able to ride this bike once I lifted him up on top of it. He could cruise around the neighborhood as long as I was able to catch him at the end of the ride. The Stomper also incorporates a Shimano Revo twist shifter, which was a highlight for our tiny handed tester. He didn't have to reach for the triggers and definitely learned the art of finding gears best on the Stomper thanks to its ease of operation. The 1x6 drivetrain tops out with a 28 tooth cog out back and a 30 tooth chainring. Paired with the shorter cranks, climbing was still very possible, but the low end of the gear range was a bit limiting and he found himself pushing on occasion. Considering we're not chasing three hour epic ascents, our goal of some low gear climbing and learning how to use a shifter was definitely achieved on the Stomper. Because the bike had V-brakes, set up for the smallest hands can be difficult. I maxed out the grub screw on the lever to get the reach close enough for his little fingers. But for the brakes to be functional with some bite on the rim, the cable adjustment leaves the pads really close to the rims. If anything goes out of whack, there's rubbing. The 2.1 inch Kenda small block eight tires were great for the BMX track and smooth single track that we have nearby here. 
and at just over 21 pounds, the GT was a manageable weight. The Stomper is a great first mountain bike for the smallest of riders and will get them hooked. GTBicycles.com will have all the info you need. Trex Wahoo 20 was the lightest of the bunch at just 19 pounds. The 20 inch wheeled mountain bike has that longer rear end look that a lot of kids mountain bikes have. The standout piece of the bike, however, is Trex Alpha Aluminum Frame. For the young rider ready to follow mom, dad, or sibling on a legit cross country ride, the Wahoo uses fast rolling tires, 140 millimeter cranks with 32 tooth chain ring, and Shimano 11 to 34 tooth eight speed cluster out back. The rear rim is orange, the front rim is black, and it even has water bottle cage mounts so your Mini Ripper can Sherpa their own hydration. Trek recommends that the rider be at least 45 inches tall, and our Micro Masher comes in at an altitude of 43 inches, but we made it work, and he had a lot of fun on the Trek. Brake lever reach and operation was challenging with such small hands. I backed out the grub screws in the lever all the way and replaced them with longer and uglier screws to get the levers close enough to reach. The Ghetto Hack did the job, but like with the GT, pad contact and brake adjustment on the V-brakes is all but maxed out with no room for wobble or error. The Trek was the guinea pig for learning handbrakes and it took a beating despite some failed coaster brake back pedal memory lapses. The Wahoo 20 is a great starter mountain bike for the up and coming Trek fan. At 439 bucks, you get a quality frame that will definitely grow with your child. The crew at Trek also sent over a Bontrager Solstice MIPS helmet. At 60 bucks, it's not cheap, but it features the added protection of MIPS, has an easy to use lockdown strap in the rear, and a Fidlock magnetic buckle system. My boy loves the Fidlock. He can operate it easily, and dad's not gonna pinch the skin under his neck with a stock buckle like I did when he was three. SDG just released their kid-specific component collection called the Junior Pro Kit. The kit features the Slater 650 handlebar with 19 millimeter grip diameter that works with their Slater Junior grips. The smaller grip diameter means little hands will be in more control. Three millimeter spacer adapters are supplied so normal 22 millimeter size brake and shifter controls can be used on the 19 millimeter bars. The 19 millimeter diameter, however, is promising for the V-brake equipped bikes. There's a junior lever made by Tektro that works only with a 19 millimeter clamp diameter. The reach on these levers is nice and close to the bars while providing enough cable pull for a quote unquote normal setup. I have these levers on order from Cleary Bikes, the only place I could seem to find them, to see if they will help with some of the issues mentioned earlier, and I'll report on that soon. Cleary offers a kid's bar with a 19 millimeter diameter, but their spec is pretty goofy, so I was glad SDG came to the rescue with the Slater bar. The SDG Junior Pro Kit also includes the Fly Junior Saddle and Slater 90 pedals. The pedals provide a nice solid platform and are a killer upgrade from the stock afterthought pedals of a kid's bike. They even have replaceable pins since you know your Grom's going to be smashing that rock garden soon. Hit up sdgcomponents.com for more information. Aside from what's been discussed here, there are a boatload of Grom ready shred machines. Most major brands have some kind of gear equipped 20 inch wheeled mountain bike for kids and they're getting more and more modern and updated every year. Specialized, Comensal, Kona, Scott, Spawn Cycles, Early Rider, Trailcraft, the list goes on, and there are plenty of mini machines that will put your grown-up MTB to shame. We're just scratching the surface with some of these kids' bikes, so hit up your local bike shop, ask friends or neighbors, or just see if your child has a special bike wish. If you can't spend $600 on a kid's bike and can only spend 60, it doesn't matter. Just do what you can to give the gift of bicycle freedom this holiday season. 